So is there anything like the TVA in other parts of the country where they're a um, independent? There, so the closest would be the Bonneville Power Authority out in the in the Northwest, right? Um, but they are they are different in Im- important ways from TVA, right? They're they're um, there really is only one TVA, um, right. which, you know, maybe as a TVA homer because I've worked there for 16 years, <laughs> right? But, but, but even the model makes a lot of sense to me. This yeah. idea that you are, um, you've got a regional asset, first of all, that crosses state lines, right? We've got 30% of the Tennessee River in North Alabama, um, but that's not all of it, right? So you're, you've got this regional project that crosses an asset that crosses state line. You've got what is this critically important essential service that you provide in terms of electricity, right? So you're managing this regional asset, you're providing this essential service to people that really makes the 21st century run, right? The idea that you would be, um, you know, federally owned, yeah, but locally and regionally kind of operated and managed in a nonprofit way, right? So that that makes all the sense in the world to me for this kind of enterprise and effort. And so I'm always surprised that, that, that TVA is the only TVA yeah. that it, that it wasn't a model that was, that was replicated um, other places. But then again, it may be unique because the T the Tennessee river is unique, right? Yeah. That 652 mile river where it is in the country, the challenges it presented, but also then the opportunities, if you get it right. And I feel like, I feel like TVA, the, the visionaries who kind of conceived this, and yeah. uh, President Roosevelt, who signed the TVA Act into law, they, I, I feel like their vision for that has been realized, right? Um, and so, and maybe it, so, maybe it was just a, huh. a unicorn, a once in a, once in a long time opportunity. You know, uh, I was flashing back. I was thinking about my episode with the, um, the zoo. Ethan Woodruff is a, a, a fellow that's trying to help bring the, the zoo to North Alabama. If you look at I-565, they have yeah. one in Nashville. You come down, you kind of skip over our area. Then you have one in Birmingham, mm-hmm. Montgomery, down, and down to Mobile. Um, and in, in that, we have like the most species of fish in our waters, east of the Mississippi, you know, type thing. Yeah. And it's just... That's just like one stat, you know. And then when I was talking to the Mazda Toyota people, there's there's these two fish that are endemic to the waters of Limestone County, meaning that's the only place they live. Yep. Right. And uh, and I just think of like more and more how special North Alabama is. Oh, absolutely. You know. And then I just had an interview with like, oh, okay, we're talking about the Wilson Dam and whatever else, but Muscle Shoals, but just well, they picked Muscle Shoals, North Alabama. As yep. as the you know the starting point for all of this, 